What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're playing a game that we played last year. Um, I think it was like, I mean, what is it called again? Silent Hill Deadline. Um, hang on, my light's on. Let me go turn that off real quick. All right. And I always wear headphones whenever I record. So the reason why we're playing this again is because I beat it last year. But this time, I actually did want to go in and look at it because of where we were, right? And we're going to go here because there was a lot of stuff we could have explored, right? Wait, what? Oh, shit. So, I'm trying to remember what I was supposed to be doing. Because there was like a little thing we could explore and I don't recall what I'm supposed to be doing to get back there. But I know it was like bonus edition shit, so let me get there again. So, um, it took me a minute to get here. Like, this is what I was talking about, because I said I wanted to go back and look at what it's about to say here. It says, this might be a disappointing way to end the demo, but not so much happened when I started working on this again and now. But I really, really want to emphasize how much work I put into this. I was fully going to have a darkness world, but I soon found myself having a block again. As an apology, though, why not press and hold shift after selecting new game on a title screen for a little surprise? It's not much, but please understand. So you have to hold shift after selecting new game. And it's one person working on it, and this is what I wanted to look into. Because I remember the person who even made the game uh, commented on the video I made about this game. And I am genuinely curious about everything that they put into the game that they were working on. So, that's what we're going to be looking into right now. Yeah, I know. we've I've beaten this over a year ago. Actually... Yeah, it's about a year ago. I, I don't exactly remember what day. So we got to hold shift and then press new game. Right? So yeah, I'm holding shift. And yep, we're here again. So I believe this is a whole bunch of shit we can explore that showcases stuff about the game. At least as far as I remember. Uh, how did I get here? This is probably the dev doing some testing. So would you like to view the tutorial? Um... No, we do not need to view the tutorial. We can just go ahead and look around at everything, right? You got a little save thing here, right? This is something you can use to save. It's kind of interesting. Anyway. So, these are just tables. It appears to have food on it. Here we go. So, this is us, I would assume. Uh, I believe that's cloudy... Oh, we can become the characters. That's kind of cool. I'm going to be cloudy, though, because I actually, I, I assume that's cloudy. I'm not certain. Um, can we go out the door? Foggy Town, Abandoned Building, Office, and Darkness World. We're going to go into the Foggy Town. To see what else we can look at. Because I've always been curious about this. I just haven't really had the opportunity to get back around into looking around when it comes to this game. So we're just going to be checking it out. Looking around. Doing this. Doing that. We might as well run so we don't waste as much time. Whoa. What the fuck? It's like pitch black it's like the road just completely got ripped apart interesting got a little black vehicle here blackish gray anyway got a few more cars didn't know ponies could drive but hey you learn something new every day um yeah the road's still once again gone can't really go into this little area here so I feel like that's kind of a waste to look at. Got another road with much, many, many more vehicles just popping up here and there. Maybe not many, many more. 
it's a bit of an over exaggeration there's not too many vehicles and yeah it's like the road was just ripped apart what is this can I look at it I'm curious That says cool. What is this like a building? Lame. Peace. Can't go in there. Okay. The road is missing here too, so we cannot explore further. Uh, yeah, there's not really too much out here. Oh. There's the house, right? Nothing too creepy. Yeah, there's not really much. Can I go anywhere? I'm going to be honest, I do not remember where the fuck to go right now. Here, right? No? Weird. Um. Got a parking lot for vehicles. Interesting. I think we go back inside around here somewhere. Yeah, like here. Yep, there we go. There we go. So we looked at the foggy town. There's not really much to see, but we're going to go to the abandoned building now. Whoa, dude. It is dark as fucking shit in here. Um. Hello? Whoa, man. I like the music in here. It's actually quite calming, a little eerie. It's definitely a preferred music type I have a lot of enjoyment listening to. Wow. There, it doesn't appear as if there's much here, though. We can't really acknowledge the notes on the ground. We can't read them. So there's not really much we can do in here other than be like, hey, we can look around. Whoa, what the fuck? I don't want to get jump scared, man. I came in here to explore, not have the titties scared off of my body. What is going on? Ah, you can't go up here. No? No? Nothing really here. No, there's more. Yeah. Um. It is very dark. And I cannot move. Um, yeah, I could not move. Uh, yeah, I can quit. And I can always just go back like to the dev stuff and explore yeah i think the dark building it looks like it has a nice little eerie atmosphere to it it's creepy the music really fits in with it but uh the game was unfinished at least this file is because it's the same exact file i had last year i put it onto a terabyte hard drive that i bought and i just kept it there and i decided just now to come back and give it like what the fuck I don't remember seeing that. Hold on. Anyway, shift, new game. Once again, that way we can look at everything. Because I'm not done exploring. We have a little bit more to look at. What? What? I hit shift, though. And, and, and no. No, what is going on? What is going on? All right. Game has given me some buffoolery over here, some absolute bullshit, but 
I'm pretty sure it's not the dev's fault or the person wor that was working on it. I was holding shift when I went into the start menu. So maybe I got to load in because I saved over there. Um, yeah, I, I know some parts of this game may come off as very cruel. We just seen this. So we're going to load. What the hell? It says a minute and three seconds. Okay, well, yeah, at least it comes back here. That's nice. Give me Cloudy back. Thank you. Anyway, we looked at the dark building. It's very creepy. Now there's Darkness World and Office. What is the darkness? And it says Booker only. What does that mean? Oh, Booker's the character. So I'm guessing this is something that later on when the game's actually finished. Good. They're still here weird so booker is a character and i didn't know they were so that's interesting um there's not really much to see in here like you could interact with the door and it says good they're still here but that's pretty much about it not really much else so we have one more thing to look at right oh come on Knock, knock, knock. Yeah, um, how come it's not letting me leave? I'm confused. I am hitting the enter key. Alright, well, guess we're going back. Alright. Not really much there that we could look at, but it's something. I'm sure it's leading up to something with this character. And, uh, when the game gets worked on further, at least to my knowledge, that's gonna have, like, a big part of the storyline. Booker. Because the only two characters, well, there's like three characters I know of. There's the main character, there's Cloudy, and Starry. I think that's what they what he said her name was. Um, but those are the only three that I can recall of from last year. So I'm going to reload in. And we have one more thing to look at for this small little video here. I'm just going to stay the character that I am. I'm just going to deal with it. Darkness World. Oh, it's this. Like the creepy little red atmosphere thing. Well, we might as well look around. So this is Darkness World. It's a very creepy, spooky atmosphere-like area. Are those lights? Wow. The music is unnerving. I would say it's very unnerving. But it does fit well with the... What the fuck? Can't go in there. No, I can't go there. Alright. Yeah, it definitely, like fits in with the atmosphere it's very creepy and i don't know what it is i think i personally just look at it in a way where it's like oh this lock is jammed so you can mess with some of these doors but red is a very creepy color to me you put it in the right atmosphere it's scary this lock is jammed hello no nothing over here we can go down here though is that a mattress No? What the fuck? Oh, is this the freaking office area? This is, look, look, look. Yeah, exactly the same. It's exactly the same. This is the law, the office. Wow. Okay, so the office is connected to the darkness world. So I'm guessing the office has something to do with something quite spooky later. That's very interesting. I didn't know that. 
Well, now I do. Now, what else can we look at? What else can we explore? I don't know for sure. Because it is getting... There's not exactly an objective. We're just kind of looking around here in the map. Can we go up here? No, you can't really mess with that. Well, okay. Um, Personally, I think that's all we can really look at. At least from this demo that I have downloaded from last year. So if you want to go check it out, it will be linked in the description. Check out the prior video I made on it. You'll get a lot more of an explanation on it if you haven't seen it. Um, yeah, there's not really much else to say. So thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Check out the Game Creators Game Jolt page and the page for the game itself to support them. And that's all I got to say. So thanks for watching and I will see you all in the next video.